hey parents, um, let's talk about assistive technology for communication in regards to Halloween and trick-or-treating. Um, this may or may not be a tradition that's important to your family. Um, every family is different, um, but I wanted to uh, provide the visuals that you may or may not need um, in your community um, as you participate in this um, tradition. So um, we have bucket labels. Um, one is for trick or treat, one is for thank you, and with the bucket labels you'll get um, two sets of these rectangular velcros. There's a rough side and a smooth side. So you'll put either the rough side or the smooth side on the paper, one of each, and then the opposite side of it would go on the bucket and then that way you can kind of stick it on and rip it off. The purpose of these symbols is that if your child is nonverbal, they could rip it off and say trick or treat with a symbol. Um, the person gives them the candy and then they rip off the thank you and give it back and then you take both icons and you put them back on the bucket, move on to the next house. If your child is verbal, you can just point to them um, and use them as a support. So there's that. And then you'll also get the communication bracelets, which have our core words stop and go, and then other additional words it's like more, knock, candy, thank you, trick or treat, wait. And you can combine these words in phrases like let's go, let's go, trick or treat. Okay, stop and wait, wait your turn. Um, okay, stop knocking, one time knocking, stop, or let's go knock. Okay, let's go get more candy. Thank you for the candy. You see there's lots of phrases that you can make just with these words. And then stop and go are our core words of the month. We've been combining them in different ways. Let's go, go in, um, go to class, let's go run, let's go play, let's go eat. So we've been doing all these phrases throughout the month using those core words, um, go in, go out. Um, so those are just some things you'll get. Oh, with that, those communication bracelets, you'll also get these Velcro dots. You'll get two communication bracelets and two sets of Velcro dots, two smooth, two rough. So you would put either the smooth or the rough on one side, and then you'll put the opposite on the other. If your child doesn't want to wear it on their wrist, there's other options. Velcro it to your trick-or-treat basket handle, like around it, loop it around it, and Velcro it together so it stays in place. Um, you don't have to Velcro it in a loop. You can put a Velcro on one side and a Velcro on the other and stick it on your wagon or your stroller if you want to. Um, you don't even have to use the Velcro if you don't want to. If you want to use a safety pin, you can safety pin it to their pants or their cape, whatever it is that, that you can attach it to. Um, these are all just ideas for you and resources for you to use to help your child communicate during um, this time. So until then, we'll talk again.